Hi, welcome to Spry Whimsy Fiber Arts. Today I'm going to take a few minutes to unbox and assemble a Spinolution Echo and show you how what it takes to put that together. It's very quick and simple and it is applicable for a Monarch as well. Enjoy the video. Today I'm going to show you what you get when you order a Spinolution Echo. What you need to do to put it together and what you should expect to find in the box. Okay, I've already cut open my box. Right at the top, things you want to look for as you're opening through going through your packaging. There'll be a ratio guide, a little postcard telling you to where you can uh, join different groups and then more information about Spinolution. There should be a card in there somewhere that shows you who inspected your wheel. And look for a little red bag that will have your drive band and on the Echo and on the Monarch, it'll have the screws you need to put it together. We're going to dig through the packaging. You should find your bobbins somehow packaged in here. So there's one bobbin, two bobbin. These are the two bobbins. These are the loose bobbins that are not on the head that has been tested. You should be able to find your head package. So that is your third bobbin. Set that aside. One of the feet. The second foot. And the rest of the wheel. Double check. Make sure there's nothing else in your box. And we're going to put together the wheel. So we're going to set a foot on one side, set a foot on the other side, and in your little baggie you'll find some screws. The screws also come with a little washer on them. So you have two on either side. Just get them hand started. Do that on both sides. And then take the Phillips head screwdriver and tighten those down. Now you shouldn't need a power tool for this, but it's a fairly fine thread, so it takes a few minutes to screw them all the way in. Now this one happened to come with a wildflower etching on the audience side of the wheel. As you're tightening these, make sure you're kind of tightening both of them evenly. Don't just do one all the way and then do the other. You want to kind of do them together to make sure that you have both of them properly threaded in there. If you do one too far and you don't get the other one in, you might be cross-threading it. So once I have it all the way in and all the way in, I'm going to tighten those down. Same thing over here. Now, this is a point where I want to check the balance of this wheel. So I'm going to give it a spin. Close that 
to see if there's any wobble in it at all. You can see there's just a little bit right now. So I'm going to find the spot where it's narrowest between the castle and the wheel and just sort of give a little push. Because sometimes in shipping it's going to get jostled around a little bit. Now I have a smooth, even wheel with no wobble to it. Now, if I needed to do more than that, if it was really off, there are three screws at the center shaft that hold the wheel onto a plate. If you need to adjust those, there's a hole back here where you can loosen those three screws and adjust the wheel if it's really off and then retighten them as you need, as needed. But this just needed that little oomph from shipping. Now the next step, we take the head here, slide it on in my little packet. In this case was my thumb screw. Sometimes it ships attached to the head. It's not always the same. I'm going to tighten that down. That holds that in place. Now, to put my drive band on, so you'll find a little itty bitty drive band in the big one. So we're going to use the big one. We open up our treadles by lifting up on the sides and threading the drive band through, closing that. Put this over the top. I give it a little bit of a stretch. And then I play a little game where I push it down underneath the wheel. <coughs> and it's on there. And once that's in place, and I don't have to open this again, I put the little drive band across the top of the treadle. That keeps it from potentially opening while you're, you're spinning and creating a knock, knocking noise. And then that's it. You've got your Spinolution wheel put together. It's the same thing for a Monarch as it is an Echo. Um, just to check, make sure your tension knob can move. That's up here. And we just double check, make sure it's free to flow around. And you're good to go. Thank you. You have up here, you have your ratios you can change just by flipping your band to another another whirl here. The band is stretchy, so it allows you to do that. So that's the slowest whirl. And one more is your fastest whirl. And the ratio guide will tell you how many revolutions per wheel should equal how many revolutions up top. Tension is driven here. You loosen it. Tighten it for more take up, a little looser for less take up. There's that little drive band that you, or little band that you put on to prevent it, the uh, treadles from opening and knocking. And if you look, so you can get that right. There's a couple little screws hiding back there. Those are accessible through that hole on the back if you ever need to. Well, thanks for watching the Spry Whimsy video. I hope this assembly video was useful to you. And if you have any other questions about Spinolution wheels, feel free to ask.